nice city girls. I, I printed them out so that I could react properly on them. And I'll just start with with Amy. When you said about Berlin, I imagine it's almost as you returning to a place of birth, the seeds of wonder, magic, and the sparks of invention that have pursued you since youth will be able to blossom even more. And How I wish we could meet for wine and keep each other up cackling even later. <sighs> even if you were silent in your vlogs, I could just sit and watch and listen to your music while you contemplate life. How I wish we could meet for wine and keep each other up cackling even later. <laughs> That's just so good. Well, I've got some coffee here because oh, I just came from a birthday party and I'm completely pissed. I have to pour more coffee. looking for a picture of Rosa Ponsel. But Amy, you will find her in my favorites. And I think she's even in yours. Rosa Ponsel. Ponsel. P-O-N-S-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Fumbling, fumbling, where is it? Hopefully, hopefully I can, after many hours of fumbling, produce something worthy of a response to you. Well, that's exactly how I started. My first was Post party on blues for Sarah, and I made a thousand and couldn't get the lights right. And it, it took me ages to be able to plug a camera into a computer. So, as Paula said in her response to that one, don't beat yourself up, honey. I mean, of course for your vlog. Yes, make it happen. Because you inspire, we inspire. Thank you for your beautiful letter. And cheers to you. I cut myself. I 
cut myself with a knife trying to smoke I have the telephone here and peel an apple it went like flush seas of blood a whole teapot full and then I remembered this Pleiadian thing there's this woman Barbara Handclaw and she channels Pleiadians and sometimes I read in her book when you have a certain state of mind you can actually get some kind of a connection to the things she says that are mostly like oh my god she's a hysterical woman who is channeling Pleiadian goddesses but that's not true in every dimension and um, she wrote in her book that you should mix the blood with water and give it to your sick plants so I did and then I have my sick old tomcat who came in December so I mixed a little of my blood through his food as well and he who has been living with me for almost a year now wouldn't sit on my lap wouldn't sleep in my bed wouldn't come anywhere really really near was always in distrust always afraid he has been abused and after he drank my blood he's, he came and sat on the table right in front of me and looked me in the eye and then climbed on my lap then jumped off and stepped onto the bed and since then he's sleeping with me in my bed. I... Now he knows me. He knows my DNA. My secrets. And he knows I'm not a threat. Hmm. I'm going to, to turn Rosa down a little. In school, Rosa Ponzel was asked by her teachers not to sing along when the class was singing because her voice was too big. She has a s speaking voice like You can look into my favorites and then you will see Rosa Ponzel interview from, I think, Tauber van Lehar. I used to have a cat that slept with me for 10 years. She even had a, all her babies in my bed. meant I had to wash the bed a lot and sleep in flea powder and all. But I didn't mind, I loved the intimacy and the dreams and the comfort of a mammal. I mean having a nightmare and having a parrot, or as I have four parrots, means waking up and wondering if you are awake and then hearing ah flap 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 in the other room where there is a little parrot having a nightmare also and then having a purring or snoring cat beside you that's the thing going over well then Sarah I'm going to make a new one especially for you Blech. 